All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so now that we have a general understanding of jQuery selectors, we could talk about them in more specific specific circumstances. So say maybe we had a bunch of paragraph tags. So say we had like P Village Park. We had maybe, I don't know, three of these, five of these, 10,000 of these. Let's go ahead and just paste a couple of them. And we didn't want to, we didn't want to show all of them. Let me go back to the correct selector, which is P. What if we only want to show like one of them or two of them? Well, we need to be more specific. And in this case, I'll change up the method. We'll go from show to CSS, which is another JavaScript method, jQuery method. We'll save that. And we'll say, what do we want to do? I don't know. We'll give it just a color of red and we'll save that so we got our css method right here with our argument now let's go ahead and open these and all the paragraph text should be red open with safari there it is village park village park village park say i only wanted the first one village park well since we're using jquery we don't have to type a bunch of javascript code and a big uh, uh for loop and circle through all our get element by id all we can do is give our p tags different classes so we'll say P class equals, and you can type whatever you want. I'm just going to type A, let's do class B, et cetera. You could do Z, Y, Z, whatever. So how do we add this onto our selector? Well, we just need to go ahead and concatenate it by using, we're using class. We'll use dot A if we want just this one is show up in red now. So we're very specific with our selector now. So let's go ahead and reload it. Just the first one is in red, which is awesome because we're, we're doing what we want. Or if we wanted to do ZYZ, ZYZ, we'll save that. Now the second village park should be highlighted in red. Perfect, just like that. So think of this like if you're doing like a big uh, unordered list with a bunch of list items and you just wanted to have a couple of your list items be different for, or be distinguished from your other list items. Well, that's how we do it. We type a dot and the same thing works for ID as well. So if we don't want to do class, we wanted to do, since we're already on ZYZ, I'll backspace that and we'll give it the hashtag and just right down here, we got to change this from class to ID and it's going to work the exact same way. Let's open up our browser and refresh it. And there it is. So it'll work the exact same way. So we concatenate it on a more specific class or ID to our original selector of just our paragraph text. All right, guys, hopefully this made sense. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.